ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful day. Um, I just put, I just recorded tomorrow's podcast. A lot of you guys, if you don't know, if you actually want like a deep dive into more of me and if you guys, those of you have been saying you've been really liking my open content lately, my podcast probably the most vulnerable, like the most vulnerable I am on any platform. Now on videos, honestly equivalently I would say, but on there if you really want some deep, you know, substance now that we're entering Scorpio season, that's the place to check it out. I'm about to head to get groceries and I will do a grocery haul and I will show you my fridge organization. I posted like a really light Instagram story a lot of you guys actually wanted to see, which makes me feel so like happy you guys liked it. I'm not done organizing it. I did like the main section, like like let's say you open your fridge, right? Like the front of it, everyone has a different fridge, but not the like side, like I still wanna organize the sides and get like dividers to do the sides. That's like on my to-do list. Maybe I'll do it like this Sunday or something. Go to Home Goods, get more of those plastic thingies and show you guys. Let me know if you'd wanna see that, but I did some of it. Also, I've, I'm using these reusable bags. I got these on Amazon, like it came with four and they're huge. Like they're like, like this kind of like, like a rain jacket material, but they're literally huge. Like I think, honestly, I have, only one but hopefully one will be enough last time i think i used two but i got a lot of stuff so maybe hopefully one will be enough this time i'll, I'll get those on amazon myself so i'll link those down below in case you're looking for a really great reusable grocery bag like they're literally dude i don't know i could i think i could fit in this i don't know i just i feel so much better i usually have them in my car like in the trunk but i took them out obviously when i got groceries last time and so now I may have to make a conscious effort not to not to forget them. Also, a song I've been liking lately. I'm glad you guys are loving that new playlist I've been. I may have called "Good Things Take Time," and I have so many good songs on there. What's my my current? I really like "Unforgiven" right now, but I like the drop of it. So it goes like this, and then the I like the girls part. Right here. I'm literally sitting on the floor as usual. I feel like it's a tradition. I was gonna sit and like do the haul in the kitchen, like lay everything out and like kind of like put it on the kitchen counter and take everything out. But you wouldn't see my face and I remember how people complain when they can't see my face. So I'm honored that you like to see my face. So I went to Trader Joe's and I wanted to do a, again, like another healthy, affordable grocery haul. And I always have to say this preface because people ask this question a lot. I'm showing you guys just like a variety of groceries. I pick up groceries, you know, like I've said this before, as I run out of them, as I need things. I follow My Body by PB Guide very closely. A lot of you guys have used it. Many of you have lost like 10 pounds off of it, like I think three or four inches off your waist. Amazing success stories. I'm gonna find screenshots and put them on the screen here of all of some recent success stories that I've um, discussed. And that's my eating guide and how I eat. And if you're interested and wanna, get your best body yet and feel amazing. I have that out. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I think that it like really speaks for itself. The success that people have had with it is incredible. And so, but I, when I pick up groceries, I just, I just kind of pick up what I need here and there. And then I obviously like to try like random new things every so often, right? So just keep that in mind. So the first thing I got was pumpkin spice coffee. I love their maple coffee. Talk about it in my morning routine. Like their maple autumn coffee. I love that, I stand by that one. I have not tried this one yet, but it's, I feel like it's gonna be good. I'm just hoping it's not too sweet. Like I want, I like when there's a little bit of flavor, but I don't want it to be like where it just, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, okay. Um, this is with orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ground vanilla, beans, and pumpkin spice flavor. I have something for you too, ma'am. Let's see what I have for you. Do you even wanna dare and see what I have for you? Do you even wanna, do you dare to even see what I have for you? I have, Chicken breast strips. You ready for a little chicken titty? Okay, sorry, they're probably really inappropriate. Um, oh my gosh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she ran away. You want, you can, Poco, you want some too? I thought I got treats for you too, but here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Um, I got that. I guess we'll do, let's do this one first. 
So I got organic bananas. Or just banana. I'm just gonna do it's just I don't even say it anything. I got, I got bananas. Then I got a avocado, some organic avocado. Um I got okay, so when I, if I drink alcohol, I usually will just have a martini. Like, that's, like, my go-to drink. I'm not about alcohol, my feelings on it. I will literally usually have one. Two, if it's, like, an, if it's someone's birthday or something. Normally one. And my favorite vodka recently has been Grey Goose. I'm, like, kind of picky about vodka. Like, not insanely picky. But it really does affect, like, how you feel the next day. Like, if you have, like, for me, if I have Tito's, for example, I just really don't feel good the next day. It's supposed to be, like, gluten-free or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if that makes a difference in terms of your like recovery, but I just don't feel good when I drink it. I the, so far, if anyone has even more other vodka recommendations, let me know. Like I'm willing to definitely invest in like really high quality vodka, but um, I feel like a lot of times once you get to a certain level, they're all kind of similar quality wise. Whenever I have Grey Goose, I don't feel shitty the next day. I literally like, feel like I mean I have like one martini, right? I feel fine. It's my favorite like taste. Like I, for me, if I order martini, I just do a Grey Goose martini with a twist, not dirty, obviously, because it's not olive. Um, it's basically just like vodka, <laughs> but it's like that's like my go-to drink of choice. And so I got this just to have at home. I have like these really pretty decanters. Honestly, to be, I mainly got it so I can fill up my decanter, and I have those mostly for guests. One decanter has Casamigos, like the Blanco tequila. Even though I like the other one more, when I was getting it a long time ago, they didn't have the other one. And then I'm gonna put the other, this one in the other decanter. It's more so like when people are over, like to make a cocktail or something, or like you know, whatever. Like I'm, I'm a good host, so I always like to have stuff. Um, I got two of these little legume and spinach salad things to have. I like to have like one or two of these just in my fridge when I'm like really my day is like super hectic. Um, these are those NB bars that I posted about. I posted on Instagram about these bars. I'm not gonna talk about too much on here. But honestly, I'm, a, I'm not even lying. I'm literally obsessed with them. And they're giving me this deal where like you can get like a whole pack, like a trial pack of these bars. And all I have to pay is shipping and handling, which is like $4.99. It's like $5. And you get all the bars for free. So check my Instagram if you want that. It's on my story. Hopefully, if if you, if you, maybe I'll make it like a highlight or something. But hopefully if you're watching this, if it's not on my story, message me and I'll send you the link. Um, but... But I also have these like when I'm really also like just if I don't have time to cook I have to like run and go. So I got that. I got some mini potatoes. Little little mini organic potato. This is my favorite beer when I drink beer. Literally my all time favorite. It's called Modern Times Fruitland. It's a sour beer. Some people really don't like the taste of them. You either like love it or you hate it. I don't think people are neutral to this kind of flavor. Like either you're like, wow, I love, I, I personally just love sour beers. Or like ones that are like, there's ones that are made even like in barrels that give it this like really nice flavor. I had one, it's like, it was by Sierra Nevada. I don't know. This one I really like and it's sour tropical fruit it's it tastes doesn't taste like beer to be honest but it doesn't taste like fake you know how like sometimes when a brand will make a drink not taste like what the original beverage is supposed to taste like it tastes kind of like almost just like just like sugary water or something this still tastes like beer but it just has a really nice flavor i love sour beers so for me these really work i highly if you like that type of flavor i suggest you try it or if you can just get one can when you're out somewhere if you see it if they have it as an option I really recommend modern times fruitland I got these to have with my coffee. They're like little Madeline cookies. I haven't had these for so long. So long. I probably have one with my coffee a day. I try to I have I just want to try one right now. I oh I got my four in the morning. I always have one treat with my coffee, whether it's like a cookie or like um a lady finger. I always have like one treat with my coffee. And usually I really savor it. Did you already eat that? I'm just sorry, I'm, sa I'm savoring my cookie. Okay, I have something else for you. I have also for cocoa too, don't worry. This one's just a little bit more persistent here. Okay. Chicken on a bone, baby. Okay. Then I got uh, organic zucchini squash. Like you see in my recipes, I like to saute veggies on the side pretty frequently, just with like um, avocado oil, uh, Himalayan salt, and black pepper. So these are just nice to saute. When I make avocado toast, I either make it with uh, Ezekiel bread, or I really like like the basically the kind of like the, the, at Trader Joe's they call it the European style whole grain bread. I'm pretty sure it's called rye bread, right? I love, I love it. Honestly, also apparently it helps you soak up, helps so soak up any bloating. I was talking. 
um, Trabi, who's very like educated in like fitness and nutrition, and he's saying like rye really helps absorb like any excess. Um, I want to say water in you. I'm, I might be so wrong. Please tell me I'm right. But I was like, if, if that when I saw it, I sparked it. Here's like me as bones, PP treats, dried chicken. I got two green peppers. I've been eating a lot of like red, yellow, and orange peppers, and I haven't been eating green a bit, and green is really, eating green vegetables or fruits is really good to open your heart chakra, and you know, I just feel like Scorpio season is a good time to open your heart chakra. I talked about it in the podcast episode, this week's episode, so the one that went out on October 24th, I had like when you listen to it, but eating green roots and vegetables, or the color of the chakras are really good. And lately, like, I've been really attracted to green, I've noticed, like, I picked up these naturally, I picked up these, I picked up mean, avocados, I've been really attracted towards a lot of green vegetables. This brand has the most delicious rosés. Um, the other one I had was like a pink rosé. I don't know if this one's going to be like a red colored rosé. Because, I mean, not that rosé is red, but it says rosé wine. Because the other one was pink bottles. These are kind of more expensive than like most. Like one of these is $5 a can. Which, I don't know, like the Trader Joe's brand has like a pack of four wines for like 4 or $5. But this brand is really good. Um, yeah. You're like, you're like, put me down, mom. I'm not gonna talk about these. I'm not gonna talk about these. I we have arugula. Mia actually loves arugula. Organic arugula and spinach, obviously for greens. You've gotta have those greens. Open that heart chakra. Look, I even got Brussels sprouts, too. Wow, my heart chakra is gonna be open, ladies. I'm gonna be a nice girl. So I got Brussels sprouts. I love, I have like an Asian inspired Brussels sprout recipe. I've showed it in videos before, I think. If you wanna see it again, I'll show it to you guys. I'll make it with you. Then I got some dates, just to have when I want like a sweet treat, I like to have, I kind of cut down on sugar. I mean, I also like, the, all, the only thing that's really sugar are all the wines, right? Yeah, because I got one more of the, that like, that legume and spinach salad palette. Green lentils, garbanzo beans, roasted cauliflower, spinach, apples and pecans with red wine, shallow vin vinaigrette. I probably wouldn't, I don't usually use the sauce on it, personally, but I see smoked salmon. This is like crucial in my eating guide. And I got a ton of these pumpkins. I literally sat there and picked out like the nicest ones because this is the only fall decor I'm gonna do. And I can show it to you right now, live. We're gonna do it live. I have a sparkly kind of like fruit holder, I don't know what else, what it's called, from Z Gallery. And I'm just like, this, I'm gonna put all my little white pumpkins in here, and that's literally my fall decor. I'm not, I don't know, I, maybe I'm like just insane, but I don't see the point in like buying decor to put up all around your house to then like to have it up, and then when the season's over, you have to like take it down and then put it away. And it's only really, I guess, like for your enjoyment and your guests, but like give your guests like two beers and they don't, they're not gonna care about your decor. They're not probably gonna even care if your apartment's messy. Not that my apartment does it, but I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe, I, I just like Mercury and Taurus, blunt girl problems, right? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Maybe when I have kids, but I feel like they're not even gonna care. I'll be like, I don't know, if they wanna put them up, fine. But, okay. Oh, thank gosh I got a good amount. I didn't know what would be good. See, look how cute. And they're all the white pumpkins. So nice, I'm gonna put that in the kitchen. Look how cute! Fall decor, babe. These are the decanters I got. I got them on Amazon, so I'll link them. But as you see, I'm just gonna do a little twisty twist. Okay, I need to like actually peel this off. Dang, okay. I guess it's like kind of like child lock. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so what I do, open the bottle. Oh, the bottles are really pretty. Mm, distilled from French wheat. In the fine Epicurean tradition of France comes a vodka of uncommon brilliance. I'm Russian, I should not be drinking this vodka. I should be drinking Russian vodka, but here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of being messy. It should be careful. What is it? And then there we go. This is the decant. It's, I just feel like it's nice to have pretty decanters. I have this one and then one more. And like, look how pretty. Okay, so the first types of bins I use are these bins, which I use for greens. And I got these all at Home Goods, like I was saying. So, I mean, you can get them at Container Store. I'm sure Amazon has a lot of options. I will down below link like a bunch of options for you guys of something similar um, on Amazon. And if you want to order on Amazon, you can use the links down below. Or you can go to like your local Home Goods or something like that. And so, I, the, I usually get two types of greens every week and then mix the two. Uh, really depends what I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll do, I normally always do spinach, baby spinach or spinach and then I do kale or arugula. This week I did arugula. Mia also really likes arugula, so I'm gonna give her some. Here you go. Yeah. 
Yeah. Basically, I empty it out. This honestly, having it in a bin helped it last much longer than if you were just to open this bag and then um, like leave it kind of like, even if, you, even if you close it like, see what I mean, like this, it would still, it would still dry out much quicker. So I like to always have it in a closed container. Another bin in here, I'm gonna do the baby spinach. So again, same thing, open it up, put it in here. Okay, so this is the final result when I put everything in. I don't know why this candy is there. Um, but basically, like I said, I put the two greens arugula baby spinach in here. In this bin, I have the two Brussels sprouts, the rye bread, the spicy hummus, the two salads, organic beets, and baby potatoes. And I just used that recipe I showed you guys. Uh, here we have rosé wine. This one's actually very strong. My favorite beer that I showed you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like in the end.